Esther. Hello, everyone. Break dancing is a highly energetic dance style that originated in New York City in the late 60s and early 70s within hip hop music and cultural communities. It incorporates moves from a variety of sources, including martial arts, gymnastics, and improvisation. Today, of course, it's practiced worldwide, and it debuts as a sport in this summer's Olympic Games in Paris. Two African breakers are competing, a b-boy and a b-girl, and I caught up with them earlier this week to see how they're feeling. Hello, my name is uh, Fatam Zara Mamouni. I live in Morocco from Rabat, and uh, I'm 24 years old, and I do breaking. I started the uh, breaking in 2015 and uh, it was just uh, by coincidence I met some uh, friends from uh, my high school and they said uh, if you want to join us uh, to do breaking and I was uh, okay let's do it <laughs> and this is how I started. When I went to see what's breaking uh, I, I saw that there is no uh, girls and uh, this makes me like uh, wants to really like do it and uh, uh, show the people that uh, even girls can do breaking and uh, this is what makes me motivated to continue and really do it. <laughs> what is the most fun aspect of breaking? For me, I guess the most fun part about it, it's uh, like the enjoyment, the dance. Like when I, when I dance, I really like enjoy it. So this is like the most fun part about it. How do you feel about representing Morocco as a B-girl in the 2024 Olympics? I cannot describe uh, how much, I, like how happy I am, like uh, to represent my country and to represent Morocco, especially like uh, when I got qualified, like for the first speaker to be qualified in the in a break in. Uh, it's really an honor for me like to represent my country for the first time in the Olympics and uh, to show the words that there is uh, bigger in uh, Morocco in uh, like uh, Africa in global. What would it mean to you to take home the gold? <laughs> oh my God! Uh, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know uh, how to describe it too, because uh, just like in the African Championship when I won the medal, like gold medal, uh, I cannot describe how how happy I was and my parents too and my family. So uh, I cannot imagine like if I won the uh, gold medal in the Olympics, uh, <laughs> everyone gonna get crazy. <laughs> My name is Bilal Mellah uh, and my nickname for breakdance is Billy. For now, it's the last moment before the Olympics. When I started breakdance, I was 14 and now I'm 20. I started breakdance because of my older brother. He was doing breakdance before me. So after he, he traveled from, from Morocco, then I started doing breakdance. Like, I like to do this, like, for real. I'm from a city, it's a small city, it calls uh, Khuribga, it's close to Casablanca, if you know Casablanca in Morocco, so it's a good city and at the same time it's small, so that's what got me like uh, keep doing breakdance and focusing on breakdance, because there is not a lot of things to do. How do you feel about representing Morocco as a b-boy at the 2024 Olympics? In our culture, there is no breakdance. So not a lot of people can understand breakdance. They just started seeing breakdance and things. So the first thing that I'm going to represent my culture, breakdance, for, for Morocco. So they can know breakdance. What is it breakdance? The second thing I'm going to represent uh, my country in the Olympics. How do you feel about the Moroccan B-girls that are also representing and competing at the Olympics? It's a good thing to see to see B-girls. When you see a B-girl fighting and and wanting to, to be good in the Olympics and represent Morocco and represent breakdance, it's not easy. So uh, I'm so happy about this. I'm so happy about this and I, I wish we can see more B-girls and more B-boys in Morocco. What will it mean to you to take home the gold? If I get the medal, the, the gold medal, it's gonna be... I'm gonna be proud of myself. I'm gonna be proud because I did breakdance in a, in, a, in a place where there's no breakdance. 
and there is no knowledge of breakdance so from nothing to everything yeah so i'm gonna be happy so happy about this and proud in the same time proud of myself so the breaking competitions run on August 9th and 10th. So be sure so, to tune in so you can follow and root for Billy and El Mamouni or whoever is your favorite B-girl or B-boy. And that's it for me this week. Back to you, Esther. Uh, Heather, not so fast. Tell me what really inspires these young people to get into breakdance. And of course, they are representing not only Morocco, but the continent of Africa. You know, just... Basically, Esther, what they said that um, they, for different reasons, they fell into this break dancing and it's really quite unknown in Morocco. So both of them are really excited about um, doing it and competing and being at the Olympics and also representing Morocco and, and showing Moroccans themselves how exciting and wonderful break dancing is. Now I know this a little bit because I have tried my hand at break dancing. Well, we'll try after <laughs> the show. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>